Okay, so why does this matter? Well, this matters for purposes of insurance because it helps us understand why insurance companies exist in the first place. If they charged the actuarially fair price of insurance, they wouldn't make any money at all and would quickly go out of business. In the previous example with 100 people buying insurance for $100 per year and the insurance company subsequently paying $10,000 per year in insurance claims, the insurance company would be taking in $10,000 per year from its customers and paying $10,000 per year in claims. That leaves no money left over to pay the people who actually work at the insurance companies. Now I don't know about you, but I don't really like the idea of working for free. One of the great insights from 19th century economists all over Europe was that there exists what we call the diminishing marginal income, marginal utility, sorry, diminishing marginal utility of income. <clears throat> now, utility is just a fancy way of saying happiness. The more utility you have, the happier you are. Marginal, again, like we discussed with the pizza, describes how economists think. We don't think about anything as a whole, we think about each additional unit of that thing. So taken together, what diminishing marginal utility of income means is that each additional dollar of income brings you less overall happiness than the dollar before it. Now this might be a bit too granular, so let's make it a little bit easier. Who do you think would be happier to be given $10,000 in cash? You or Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon? Well, my guess is you. Now why is that? Well, because Jeff Bezos already has so much money that an extra $10,000 would almost certainly not enable him to do anything that he couldn't already do. You, on the other hand, would be able to do a lot more if someone gave you that $10,000. And so the $10,000 would bring you far more happiness than it would Jeff Bezos. Now we express utility as a, as a unit uh, called utils. The more utils you have, the happier you are. So what diminishing marginal utility of income says is that each additional dollar gives you fewer utils than the dollar before it. In this framework, people always prefer more happiness to less happiness. In other words, we want the most utils we can possibly get. 